It is so hot in here. I'm probably sweating. Hi everyone, it's Anna and I'm back again today with another thrift haul. Definitely went again to the 50% off sale day and it was amazing. So this is probably going to be the part one of two videos. I always do that when I say two. But so, first part, um, because we definitely went to two different locations, two of our favorite locations to go to in the area, found so, so much, so I thought might as well just break it up into the first location, second location. Yeah, pretty genius. I'm going to start with um, some of the non-clothing items that I found, and it's weird because it's the stuff that I've actually really, really, really been looking for, and I just haven't been able to find for months, and I finally found. So the first thing that I found is this very cute um, Marc Jacobs, well it's Marc by Marc Jacobs, um, phone case. It just looks like this. It's just black with red lips all over it and it's super cute. I've been looking for phone cases forever so that was nice. And it actually didn't just come like this. It actually came in the box so I thought that was great. It literally looked like no one had used it before but I did wipe it down kind of with Lysol. Um, and so here's the box that it came in. It says Mark by Mark Jacobs. Um, it's by the brand In Case, though. And it's funny because the sticker is like someone ripped it off. And it definitely looks like it was a sale sticker from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So that's funny. And I paid $2 for my phone case. So I got that. Next, and my most expensive... Oh my god, I can't even talk. My most expensive find of the day was definitely this black purse. It just looks like this. It's got kind of like the black like snake skinny going on right there. It's got this really nice gold detail on the top and it kind of zipperies on the side right there. And I like it because it's got big handles. It's a big bag. I hate small bags for like everyday use. I hate small bags. So this is a great size for me. It's going to get filled with lots of trash. <laughs> lots of stuff that I don't need in my purse, but okay. So this is what the inside looks like. It's just like this, um, I don't know if that's showing. But it's got like a florally detail on the inside. And it's by the brand. It's by the brand Urban Expressions. Um, I think it's a great bag. It looks like something that I would get from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $30. Um, I ended up paying $15, so it's still a lot for me buying anything really from Goodwill from the thrift store. Um, but I don't know, I just liked it. I don't want to leave it there, so I got it for $15. And what's really nice about it, though, is whoever had it before actually left the long strap in here. And it's still wrapped up like they never even took it out. So, yeah, got that. Then I found something that I've actually been looking for for, like, the longest time. I saw one before at a Goodwill, and I didn't buy it. And I'm actually glad I didn't because that one was kind of missing the top that the camera actually hooks onto. Um, but so, it's just another tripod, and it's smaller than the one that I actually use, because I wanted one that would kind of fit on, like, a table, depending on how I want to film or whatever. Um, but yeah, so this one's a lot smaller than the one that I already have, so I wanted a new one, and I finally found one at Goodwill. And it's in great condition. So, it's by the brand Vanguard, and it's just kind of small. It says SKT100 on it, if that means anything, but... I love it, great condition, still works, still holds up, and I only paid $6 for this, so, yeah. And so the last non-clothing item that I found at this location um, is just this black, like, metally cast iron, whatever this material is, I have no idea. I have no idea. But it's just a candle holder, so it looks like that. And it's a really pretty design, and if you've seen, like, one of my first ever thrift videos I uploaded, I actually found a much bigger one, um before at a thrift store so this just kind of goes along with it on the bookshelves that I have in my living room and I absolutely love it whenever I find these types of things I always get it because I just love them um, but yeah so here's this one and I only paid three dollars for it so in love on to clothes I found so 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 much I'm just so excited about it um, I think I spent like a total of like just around $50 at both locations. So I spent $100 that day, which is a lot. I know it's a lot. Um, but on the other hand, I got so much stuff. So I mean, I always justify it like I spent $100, but that $100 that I spent at Goodwill got me, let's see, literally got 36 things. So that includes clothes, the non-clothing items, and the purse, which was like literally one of the most expensive things I bought that day for $15. Even if I were to go 
to like Forever 21 where stuff is still a little bit less expensive, you know? In my eye, in my mind, I'm thinking that it's like $25 a dress, so that's only four dresses for $100. This way I'm getting 36 things and it's not even all clothing items. I got a purse, you know, and these things are amazingly expensive. Well, not amazingly expensive. They're amazing quality. They're probably more expensive brands, so it's it works out in my head. First thing I actually, I got a scarf, and it was like this yellow, like mustardy colored scarf. And it was only a dollar, so I bought it. I brought it home, and I realized it smelled so nasty like mothballs. And if you've smelled mothballs, it is one of the my most hated smells. I cannot stand the smell of mothballs. I hate it, it's disgusting. Ugh, like seriously. So it smelled, and I didn't realize in the store how bad it smelled until I got it home, you know what I mean? So, brought it home, I was like, no, this needs to be washed right away. So I tried to hand wash it because there was no tag on it, so I didn't know what the material was. So I just hand washed it, I let it soak, I literally washed it like four times. Like, it soaked so long with tons of dishwasher, dishwasher detergent, yeah. With tons of, like, laundry detergent in, in the bowl thing. And it's like, the longer it soaked, the more I cleaned it, the more it smelled like mothballs. It was disgusting. I threw it away. And I'm upset that I wasted a dollar. But, it was only a dollar, at least. But it was, I couldn't take it. So, the first thing that I now have in my closet is this really interesting, I love it. It is just this sweater, and it's got like kind of like rose detail on it. The detail is just amazing. I love this sweater. It's a long sleeve sweater. It kind of fits, I guess, like a cardigan. And it's got little tiny buttons in the front, but I'm probably just going to wear it open. And it is so soft. And what I love about this is it's by the brand Peruvian Connection, and it is 100% baby alpaca like hair and it's made in Peru. These things are super, super, super expensive. I know my sister has a sweater that's Peruvian, like, is it alpaca or Peruvian llama hair? Or, it's probably alpaca. Um, but she has a sweater and it is so pretty. And I was always so jealous of this sweater because I don't know where she learned to like get that. And she's had it for years now, years. And I just always thought it was so pretty and now I got one that's sort of like it. So I love this. And this was only $2. So I love it. It's different. It's interesting. It's so cute. And it's so soft. Next is just this really cute sweater. It's kind of like a reddish gray mix in there. It's like a knitted sweater. And it's got this really nice thick chunky detail down the bottom. And it's, or down the front. It's on the back too. And just like that. It's a long sweater. So it's going to be really nice with like leggings. It's so comfortable. Um, and it's by the brand Ladies Image of Delaware. I think it's a small boutique in Delaware. Um, but I really, really like it. It's super comfy and it actually fits really, really nicely on. So it's like comfortable, but it's not too like bummy, if that makes any sense. But I love it. Um, and I got it in a size small. It's like perfect fitting. It was just luck. Luck. And this was only $2. I feel like everything basically that I got was $2, but... Love it. It might be weird to get yoga pants, but I always try to get them. I look really closely at them and to make sure it looks like they haven't been worn a lot. So I kind of check the crotch, which is weird. But you gotta check the crotch because if it's really worn in the crotch, it means they've been moving in them a lot, I feel like. So I think in that way, if it looks like they've been moving it a lot, they've worn it a lot. You know what I mean? So I look at that and then I look at the tag on the inside, which usually it's kind of for workout clothes anyways, like the yoga pants. It's one that's like printed into the material, not so much a tag usually. So I look at that and if it's really, really, really faded and it looks like it's not meant to be faded, it's probably been worn a lot, but this one's still decent. Um, it's by the brand Champion and they're just these black, super simple leggings. Um, man, my voice is like cracking. And these again were only $2. I found some jeans. Um, I didn't even try these on, and when I got them home, though, I did try them on, and they don't fit me, unfortunately. This always happens. But I am trying to lose weight, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, maybe I'll fit into them. If not, that's okay. Um, but it's just these 7 for All Mankind um, jeans. They're, like, super flarity at the bottom. Am I going to be able to show this? They're, like, really wide leg. So I wanted to cut them into shorts, but they're so tight. 
I gotta see how my life goes. And then so the back just has the sevens, the seven design on the pockets. Um, and there's the little logos and stuff etched into the pants. Yeah, that's all there is to say. Seven for all mankind jeans. I paid $2.50 for these. So that's cray. No one says that anymore, Anna. I found a skirt that I'm super excited about. It is... Sorry, my window's open because it's hot in here. Hot in her. And now it's hot outside. But I'm like, is it just hot outside today? Like, what's going on? Because it's hot as hell in my apartment. My window's open, and I'm still hot, and I'm probably sweating on my upper lip. So that's attractive. So I got this um, really cute, like, gray. Yeah, this is gray. This is a gray skirt. This, like, cream-colored skirt. Um, and it kind of hits me, like, below the knee and everything, so it's going to be really nice for work. Love it. And it's got this really, really nice texture. Like, it actually kind of feels like drapes like curtains but I like it um it zippers up in the back and it's got a little bit of like a seam that kind of goes down the sides of it so it kind of cinches in just a little bit around the waist but I really like it yeah and this was only two dollars I'm in love with it more because it is by Barney's New York made in Italy yeah great skirt so gotta get that dry cleaned the only thing that I don't really like about it is that this the built-in or like the sewn in what is this what is this called I have it in my head and I just can't grab it in my mind slip <laughs> the like built-in slip underneath it like hangs out like a little bit below the line of the skirt so am I gonna have to cut that am I gonna have to take it to dry cleaner to have her cut it Probably. Next, I got two. I did it again. See, I always, I always do like this. To when I say two, two of anything. I'll take two diet cokes, two slices of pizza, two of that, two of this. It's always. So, if you've seen any of my other hauls, you know I'm obsessed with anything velour, like that velvet material. So I found two dresses. Super duper excited. Oh. Um, so it's like a silky type top. It's got that really nice neckline that's like a halter type neckline, so I love it. By the brand Laundry by Shelly Segal. I usually find this brand at like Nordstrom Rack, so Nordstrom too I guess, but usually Nordstrom Rack. Um, and my jacket is by this brand. I found a couple other pieces at the thrift store by this brand. Love it. Great brand for me. Um, but so yeah, after the top, the rest of it though, all the way down to the floor, is that black velour velvet material that I love. I'm obsessed. And so this dress was $2.50. $2.50. For my other velvety dress, I actually like the way this one fits a lot more because that one was a size 6, so it could be a little more form-fitting, but hey. This one's like a 3-4, but it's another um, velvet dress and it's like that nice emerald like Christmas green it is so pretty again it's down to the floor floor length very long very pretty and I like this one too because it's got really thick like shoulder straps even though it is strap sleeveless but the straps or whatever are kind of thicker to kind of hide my bra straps which is always good the only thing that's weird is like this I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the front see the neckline how it's like just a regular neckline because there's no tag on the back right there but on this side of like the neckline, it's got that really nice V cut, but the tag is right here. It's like literally right here. So it's kind of weird because I want to wear it this way as the front. So should I still do that? I don't know. Um, but it's by the brand B Moss Clothing Company. Been around since 1939 is what the tag says, but I paid $2.50 for it and I love it. So I found a really nice pair of work pants or slacks, um, and I've already worn them. I am 100% obsessed with these pants. Um, they're just like these slacks like this. They're a little bit wide, like, so they're not super, super tight, but they give me, they make my butt look so good. I just, I can't. <laughs> um, and so it's got like a really nice, like, printed -y detail. What's that called? I forget, but there's a name for the pattern that's on it. It's a pattern of like the gray and black if it's showing right. And then it's got like 
little falsy pockets there. It's got real pockets in the front though, but these little falsy ones. It's got a feather on the butt. Oh. And um, they are by the brand Express Design Studio. They are the style editor. And I guess that's the fit. Um, and I love these though because they're super, super comfy. So they're dressy enough for work or for an office. But the material of them, literally they feel like you're wearing sweatpants. It's amazing. Obsessed. I paid $2 for these. That's crazy. The last thing that I found is this really cute cardigan. Almost didn't get it. I found it waiting in line for the cash register, for the cashier to be checked out. Yeah. It's just this really pretty green um, and white cardigan. It's kind of like a design, like it's kind of like paint brushed on. So I like it. I like it. Um, and it's going to be really cute for like the summertime because it is thinner. Um, but you know, when, you, when you're in an office, you kind of want to look a little more put together. And cardigans always do that. Um, it's by the brand Studio Works. And it looks like that. I only paid $2 for this, but what was cool about this find is it still had the tag on it. Love when that happens. It had the actual store tag on it still. And they tried to like rip it off kind of, but I still saw the price on it. This is originally a $44 cardigan and I only paid $2 for it. So that's everything for this part one of the two of the two parts of this haul for the 50% off day. This is everything that I found at that first location. So I just want to say thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please follow me on my Instagrams. I'll probably put them in the link or in the description box below. Um, but so yeah, please follow me on there. Thanks for watching my hauls all the time. Please stay tuned for me to finally get part two uploaded. And so you can see the rest of the stuff that I found 50% off day. And I hope it kind of inspires you guys to go to 50% off day two. Because seriously, one, there's going to be a lot of people there probably. But it is so, so, so worth it. So worth it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.